Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. So just how much overload does the XH Data D109 have? And we're going to compare it with the same brand, the XH Data D808. Here is WRMI 7, Here's the same signal on the XHDATA D109. So WWCR, WRMI, everything is mixed in. As you can see, it's unusable on an external antenna when you have strong signals around. It's really, really useless. Messenger, which comes in from the Just a little info about the Canadian International DX Club, says Sheldon. We are and if we go back to the XH data. The radio hobby, not only shortwave. We've been in existence since 1908. That's the D808. The most important thing to remember is that our club is not just for Canadians. We have members from across Canada and the United States plus a number of members from other countries as well. We do not publish a hard copy of our monthly bulletin. We were one of the first clubs to go exclusively to an electronic bulletin way back in February of 2005. Each month's bulletin is usually emailed out to members. Once again, comparing. Our membership dues are very affordable. And your membership is just... We're a special price for a three-year membership for $25 Canadian or U.S. So you definitely have to use the telescopic on the D109. It's the way to go unless you live in an area where signals are very weak. It's unusable. CIDX membership can also be paid by check, payable to the Canadian International DX Club and mailed to their address in Quebec. Full details can be found on the CIDX webpage which is www.wavescan, talking about a Canadian International DX Club. Club .ca. That's www.cidxclub.ca. Sheldon says we also have a Facebook group and an IO group, and we host monthly Zoom meetings for our members. Details are found in each month's bulletin. We'd love to have you on board with us as a member. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at info at cidxclub.ca. Thanks to Sheldon Harvey, president of the Canadian International DX Club, for forwarding this information and a copy of their March Bulletin Messenger. And it is a very uh, complete <laughs> bulletin, seven pages. Uh, not print, of course, online, but 76 pages. And let me just tell you some of what is in the March edition. Uh, there's a headquarters report, a board of directors report. There's a broadcast band section by Nigel Peblet, uh, a QSL verification column by Mickey Delmage, the world of utilities by Gilles Letourneau, shortwave logbook by David Ross, the free radio scene by Chris He just mentioned my name. And so, once again... Impossible on the XHD D109. So it, think about it twice before you buy this if you use an external antenna. But on the telescopic, it's really good. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.